my lovely mama. I like her name. Her name is called Fese Fese. She's a great woman, a beautiful woman, a lady with substance, a lady with high qualification, a lady when you look at her, you know she's a great mama. This is second mama G. I tell you guys, she's huge. She's bigger than me. She's sizer than me. What if they double me? Even at 20, I know go reach up. I know go reach up. Only her beauty now. Ah, mama, all the way that they come here, they're beautiful more than me. Oh, I've told you guys that you should not give me this program. They are beautiful more than me. They have qualification. They have everything. But I know one thing I know. I'm also qualified though. I have my own substance that you guys does not know. Eh? Okay. Oh. Let's go to her. I want her to introduce herself by herself. Everything is all about herself. Because the way she's looking, the way she's gorgeous, I cannot even express it though. I cannot say me anything. Let her express herself. Mama, I hear you. Thank you, thank you, Miss Cynthia. Thank, thank you. you very much. Ah, my name is Miss Makia Comfort. I'm from Kumba. Wow, Miss Makia Comfort. Miss Makia Comfort is her name. Oh. Even me, I never know that her name was Makia. Hey! Eh? Hey! Is your father, were you related to, is it Mr. Makia? Super Makia. Because you look like him, oh. To be sincere, you look like him. But for, mm, don't go far because I don't even know the supermarket chica. I don't even go you there. We are talking about Miss Michi. Not to super. Don't even divert to that direction. Yes, this is Miss Michi. This is a great program. So we want Miss Fese to tell us what her beautiful project is all about. Even me, oh, don't go. Stay tuned. Keep watching My Africa TV channel. It's only on YouTube. If your data is finished. Go and get another data now. Go and get it. I'm begging you. Go and get it. Just to listen to our project. Madam Fese, tell us what your project is all about. Uh, the title of my project is Improving the Living Standards of Disabled Persons on Wheelchair. Okay. Yeah. So you're talking about improving. I love the way you put your project to tell you I love it. I love it. I love it. You're talking about improving. So how are you... How are you going to improve? How? What is the meaning? I want you to break that statement down. There are some viewers that they, are, they don't know the meaning of that improving the living standard of a rich lady. It's only you that you will tell us. Even me, I don't know me, you just give me the vibes. Well, to improve the living standard of a wheelchair woman is by training, okay. a vocational training. Um, there are many types of training. Okay. But I want my wheelchair women to learn about poultry farming. Yes, when we train about poultry farming, I, I believe that we will go so long, we will go very far because we will earn our living out of it. We will educate our children out of it. Why not our families? No, why not the people out there? Because if when you have something doing, I believe you will not be sad. You will take yourself to be. From what I'm understanding, you, you will not keep yourself like this. For why me now? Yes. Why was I created like this? Yes. Am I cursed? Am I a, a disgrace to my family? Is it a family curse? Or what? I understand your point, Mama. When you talk about poetry farming, so this poetry farming, I mean for a lady sitting on top of the rich chair, how are you going to be doing? How are you going to be coping? You know that when you are talking about rain a far, keeping a far, that thing stinks a lot. So how are you going to cope? How are you going to do it? Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm already a poetry farmer. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been, I've been in that for five years. Okay. So. It's not all that difficult. Yes, yeah, not all that difficult. It, you can take even your little brother, even your genius in the house. They will help you. You just have to sit there and explain them. Bring this. Bring. Go and take this food. Go and bring, go and do this. They will bring it and you talk to say, okay, now you put them in the feeding trough. You give them drinkers. You put the water in the drinkers. You give them. Okay. 
the fire will be there. I and then you have. What about me that I don't have a child now? I'm single, I'm not married, I don't have a single child. How will I cope? How will I cope to say that I wear a far? What about those that do not have a child? How will they cope? I want you to explain me that part. That is the most interesting part that the viewers are listening in now. They want to watch that part. Viewer, I hope you are you are there with me. I hope you agree with me, oh, because if you don't agree, I will also disagree. Continue, my sister. Well, as a disabled woman, you want to do a poultry farming. You create a job of opportunity because you have to employ. If you do, you know that you cannot do it, you will employ another person who can um, uh, do it for you. So that's another way of employment to provide a job for another person. That's an able person who can work for you. you see so. Yes, okay. that's it. We talk about employing somebody to work for you. I know those in the rural area, they don't have money to employ people. I what. You are not really explaining my point. You talk about uh, employing people because those in a rural area like that, th that area is so muddy. How will they cope? How will they do that thing? How will they do? Because what I understand about poultry farming, be, uh, poultry rain, I mean, that is chicken, chicken rain, right? So if you want to enter the house where you have kept your chicken, you have to have a special separate. You have to move the old one and keep yeah. it, weigh that one and take it yeah. inside to yeah. do. Yeah. So, Yes, I want that part. I want the explanation of that part. All right. Before you keep your chicken, you have to prepare the place. You look first for a land. If you don't have a land, okay, you you have to build your pottery house. And you buy all your things that you have to use. You buy your boots. You buy your base in your, your buckets. You have your all the things that you have to use for your. Uh, project okay now when you want to enter into your poultry farm you have to remove the one that you, you you bring outside you remove it and leave it outside and take another one okay. the one that you enter inside okay, the okay. poultry farm because yes you why she has explained what her project is all about this is a woman of substance a woman of high qualification she's a great woman we will just end her like that or we'll end then there another face will come or it's in French don't go, don't go that you are not listening to French, you don't hear French, you don't understand French. Stay tuned. The people that are for French are coming, oh, my own will end here. I'm only for English. I am not bilingual, even though Cameroon is bilingual. I manage a lot, that is why I say I speak French and pay and pay. Oh, but, oh, did they say over? Oh, it's bye bye. Okay, bye bye now. Keep watching. Why not share? Share this TV channel so that other people will know it all, will know it all over that where my name is Atem Ken Cynthia from Southwest region. I thank Madame Miguel for giving me this opportunity oh, to interview these wonderful ladies. Ah, it's just a privilege. It's not by chance. It's just a privilege. I thank God for their grace. Oh. It's not by my ability. Oh. It's by the ability of God. Thank you guys for watching. Keep watching. The next section is coming for the francophone. Don't go. I am still telling you, don't go. If you don't have data, buy another data. Put in your phone. Put in your phone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.